Hey everybody, I had a beautiful East Lake platform rocket come into the shop the other day. I mean, the wood is in good shape and the rock is fine. The upholstery, I can't say, is a great job. Uh, not to pick on whoever did it last time, but they, it looks like they just didn't have the information they needed. The surface looks okay, but underneath is a disaster, to be honest with you. And, and again, not to pick on the person that did it, I just think it looks like they didn't have the information. That's why I'm doing this video on YouTube and also to let you know that we just finished an East Lake um, chair. Uh, Michelle did it on our website, uh, BroadwayPolstry.com, and we give you a full. Uh, we go through the whole process, um, and there's a lot of hand stitching that has to happen underneath on edge rolls. Just want to show you. There are three different edge rolls that you can use on an East Lake. There's, they're all different sizes, and um, on the on the video you'll see that. Um, we also designed it as we would like, except for the seat is, is the original, like we tried to duplicate the original East Lake intentions of a seat. So an East Lake is really unique uh, in the way they do it. They like to raise the profile um, on the East Lakes. And if you notice this, on the back, it's a flat profile. Um, so that's also a mistake. What, unfortunately, they might have taken all the hand stitched edge roll away from this and then just started new, or they just had a frame. I suspect that whoever did this might have been an antique dealer um, without the information. If they had my video though, they would have done a better job. So if you guys are interested in doing East Lake, if you have an East Lake that you want to do, uh, check out the video on broadwayupholstery.com. But I'm going to uh, undo this for you guys just to see what's going on with this. Um, I suspect um, not much. So we're gonna take this off and take a look what's going on, especially on the front edge there. So I could tell, I could tell you right now they had a great pneumatic staple gun because this is really hard to take out. So they, they did have the equipment, okay? But the know-how, know -how, for the upholstery part wasn't there, which is what's interesting is the top cover, like looks okay except little little details like up here. If you want to pan up here, see how they come around with the gimp um, or the braiding, and they kind of instead of you know squaring it up, little things like that mean do mean a lot. Um, and also on the back, usually the East Lakes are profiled, so you wouldn't use a big roll edge roll. You would use like a medium edge roll to profile the back out. Um, a lot of times, so so what Michelle did on the on the video. If you go, if you do, if you do get it, you'll see that she had to do all this uh, profiling on the seat. She chose on her back, I think, t if I recall, to make it like like this, uh, flat, with more of a Victorian look. Um, but that's okay. That was up to her. We were willing to profile it for her. But you learn a lot from the seat. Now look what happened here. So what they did, they simply. And there's nothing simple about this, really. Um, they simply took some webbing and um, they actually webbed it, uh, some type of uh, drooping webbing in here. Uh, they didn't even web the top, which is interesting. Oh, you know what I'm looking at? Uh, the webbing let go. Um, and then they put a piece of foam um, all over to, 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 it really just doesn't work that way. It, there's a lot of hard work to this. Um, they needed to really, the webbing needed to probably be done better, probably with the webbing stretcher. Um, their staples, like I said, they, they had a great pneumatic staple gun, but um, like I said, the know-how wasn't there, but there was a lot of edging that goes on in this. Um, what they used to do is put the edge roll, they used to make it, it's called a cake. The whole thing together is called a cake, you know, but they used to do it off the piece, make the cake, and then put the cake on. What we're showing you on that, on Broadway Upholstery, is how to do the cake on the piece, which is a little easier to do. Um, but this needed a double edge, and what Michelle did is a double edge on her East Lake. So I think this is a good opportunity to show people you can do a better job out there if you, if you get the proper instructions. Um, so we're going to be doing this at the shop. Hopefully maybe we can post a picture of this when it's done just to show you the difference. So I just wanted to point something else out on the arms. I took the fabric off the arms. They had absolutely no padding on the arms at all. Can you believe that? It was all taken off. And you can see where there was 
was a heavier padding on that one time. So, for instance, on the arm, you'd go to a smaller edge roll and profile it up, okay, and then fill in the, and fill in between with perhaps a horse hair or hay or, or um, coconut fiber, and then cotton and muslin just to give it more oomph, okay, for your elbows. So, so there you go. I mean, there's this. Um, Again, I didn't blame the person who did this. They were probably making it cosmetically, um, you know. Um, they were only going for cosmetic. And I think that, uh, that what they did do is preserve the piece. It, it lasted enough time to come to me, and I'll, I'm going to restore it so that the customer will benefit from a great restoration. So hopefully, you, if you have an East Lake, don't do it like this. You have the uh, information is there. Take, take a look, broadwayupholsteryschool.com, East Lake Chair. So thanks a lot. We'll see you next time.